everyone and welcome to a new year and a new episode of the Fuse News. I've spent the last few weeks meticulously shaving off that mustache that's been with me since 1973. My name's Evan and this is episode 155. Last weekend we had Sir and guest star on the channel and share her top five monsters that'll stop your TOA rush if you're not careful. And if you're still unsure as to what TOA rush really is, then we've got some videos on the channel equally if not more so hosted by Sir and that'll explain it for you. I'm gonna have a couple of those in the description, but that particular video will be at the end. All right, time to roll some D6s. My man Morris has his own event inside the events page that's live right now. And let's be honest, it's just an excuse to give you guys some scrolls and summoning stones. Plus there are milestone rewards in it too for completing laps and collecting dice. So get that LD scroll and I have some fun because it's live. I forget how I was going to end this segment. Speaking of events, if you participated in the holiday type event on the Summoners War social media pages, then check the in-game banner as well as your emails to see if you won one of the 30 ragdoll figures that were up for grabs. I just figured you'd want to know. In previous iterations of this Fuse News, I didn't mean to say figures twice. This time I did mean to say figures twice, because you know what? Puns are fine every once in a while. Once every 155 episodes, I'll give myself a pun. Alright, time for the meat of the episode. A new dev note dropped recently that explained that auto-equipping runes is now coming to Summoner's War, and this is great news for new players who might not have a good hold on exactly what runes are or how to properly rune their monsters. All of the data is going to be sourced from how the community builds their monsters, and then the auto-equip will recommend runes from your collection notably not ones that are already equipped on other monsters, based on that data. So the rune recommendations are actually going to be based on the data collected from the community, which is great news because that means you're much less likely to get crit rate on your Fengan. That along with the ability to save the state of all of your runes for your monsters and revert back to it if you accidentally change something, and thank god because I've ruined so many monsters doing FRR. Speaking of FRR, there's also going to be a spontaneous one to celebrate this new inclusion. If you want to read the full dev note, I'm going to have it linked in the description down below. If you're watching this video when it released, then LC33 and Stoic are going to be joining me in a couple hours for a Cleave vs. Brew special stream. I'm going to make them fight to the death. You know when and where, but I'll put it right there, just in case you don't know when and where. Something I just thought was cool that I wanted to share with you guys, say Shizo recently uploaded a nearly two and a half hour long video of him doing his inner server arena battles against the Korea server. So if you want to live vicariously through a member of the Europe server as they just thrash the competition, then I highly recommend you scope it out. That's going to be in the description. And that brings us to the end of 155. I'll see you next week for 156. Keep on farming and I'll see y'all next time. Bye bye.